it to start the analysis and design of this underground water tank with these given given dimensions and uh, this tank can be used for storing water aqueous liquids or non aqueous also uh, and you can also you will also consider crack width due to shrinkage and temperature shrinkage and temperature stresses so this uh, shrinkage and temperature stresses are also called immature cracks in the concrete right so let's start so the the number uh, first let us have the dimensions of the tank what are the dimensions required the dimensions are length is 5.5 meter with 3.5 meters depth of the tank is 3.5 meter so concrete grade is m30 and reinforcement is deformed bars fe500 site is located in coastal area and uh, see this site location the proposed site is located in seismic zone 3 right so here we are not going with the seismic design so we can simply ignore this but see this is important coastal area right so and this is underground tank also so let's uh, refer our is456 and see uh, what is the minimum grade of concrete whether this is sufficient or not and 30 so we have this is456 here and uh, we see the durability requirement as per IS-456. This is our IS-456-2000. Right. So we on this um, IS-456, we read this condition. Severe. Concrete surfaces exposed to severe rain, alternate wetting and drying, or occasional freezing, wrist wet, or severe condensation. Concrete completely this 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 tank falls under this category right right so and <clears throat> this is there given in on page number 18 if you open your code you will see this in page number 18 now come to this uh, page number 20 here we are given with for severe condition reinforced cement concrete this is plain concrete this is reinforced cement what is the minimum grade of concrete for third severe we have M30, so I think this is sufficient. Okay, so we are using uh, a maximum free water cement ratio up to 0.45, and minimum cement content is 320 kg per cubic meter. So this is the minimum durability requirement. Similarly, we are also given the covers for durability requirement for severe condition. We should use at least 45, but since it is underground, so we will use little higher that is 50. Okay. And inside we can reduce to 45. Outside covers will provide 50, and inside we will use 45. Now, let's uh, come back to our design. So here uh, we have also seen the covers. The raft uh, is minimum is 60. Uh, in IE code, minimum cover for the raft is uh, 50, and in case of severe, we are providing 60. And here we have already discussed uh, after we are providing 50 and this is 45 since slabs are not directly con in contact with um, which uh, soil so we are providing 25 is the cover for the slabs more covers is not recommended in slabs because this will lead to spalling of the con concrete covers so that uh, we should take care now these are the structural material and the densities concrete we will use 25 right and uh, for uh, steel, we will use 78.5, water 10, uh, saturated soil 18, and oil 8.5. This uh, design we are performing for the oil storage tank, right? So this, uh, at some point of time, this tank will be filled with oil. And so we will also see the immature crack width, which are always there. Uh, now we will start analysis methodology so these are the parameters that uh, we should uh, first uh, first of all note down before starting the design see this is the length of the tank this is the width of the tank which we already know this is the depth of the tank b by a this ratio this ratio we will utilize uh, in the uh, in obtaining the coefficients for the uh, moment from IS 3370 part 4 1967. So this uh, 5.5 by 3.5 is 1.57 but we will use 1.75. Why? Because the coefficients for the B by A is equal to 
1.75 are directly given in the code. While as if you want to obtain for 1.57, uh, then you will have to uh, no, uh, you will have to obtain by linear interpolation. Like you have these coefficients directly for 1.75 and 1.5. To obtain it for 1.57, you need to do linear linear interpolation. Use the coefficients which are on little higher side. Suppose here we will uh, we have this value 1.57, then we will see which coefficients are higher 1.75 or 1.5. So, so whichever is higher, we will uh, take those coefficients. So here in this case, we have already seen that the coefficients are higher for 1.75. See, we can also remember here we use this uh, 370. You just uh, take a look at this code. We have these coefficients b by a. Uh, we have 1.75 and 1.5. See, this is 1.75 and this is 1.5. The coefficients you see, suppose this is we are talking about this mx at y is equal to 0. The coefficients for the same value of x by a are higher for 1.75, right? See, plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.008. This is higher, this is lower. This the kind of pattern is there everywhere in 1.75 versus 1.5. So, we will utilize these 1.75 as coefficients, right? Now, come back to our design so this you understand now we have c by a is equal to 1 we will also see the shorter face now this is the length of the longer face the length of the shorter face and divide by the height divide by the height so coefficients at 1 so these are also less but coefficients 1 are also lesser than 1.75 so we will do the design for 1.75 only for the longer face these two coefficients, these two coefficients are um, being utilized in Timoshenko. In Timoshenko, the coefficients are given with respect to a by b and a by c, not by with respect to b by a and c by a. You open this Timoshenko, and you will get to know this. This b by a is not same as that given in uh, IS series seven zero part four. You uh, just uh, scrolled up a little. You see this. This a is the width, whereas in IS three seven zero a is the depth. You remember, you see this a is the depth here, right? But here in IS, um, uh, this Timoshenko uh, is the width, uh, width of the tank, and depth is what is the depth? You see another figure, depth is b, right? This is just opposite to what was there in um, IS code. So we have to be careful while designing, right? So this uh, we need to take care. So these coefficients we'll have to see. So these uh, also we have seen with respect to 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. Uh, we the ratio is 0.66. So we have taken 0 0.6 because the coefficients are higher for 0 0.6. 3.5 by 3.5. These are lesser. Angle of internal friction is uh, given as 30 degree, right? Environmental conditions is uh, very severe, but um, I think severe is sufficient. Cover with respect to cover, we have taken very severe. Okay. Concrete strength is 30, right? Yield strength is actually 500, okay? Surcharge load is 4, we have considered. Coefficients of active earth pressure is 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi. 1 minus sin phi is 1 by 2, so it is 1 by 3, okay? Coefficients of earth pressure at rest is uh, k0, 1 minus sin phi. This we will utilize in uh, multiplying it with, this, uh, with surcharge. Surcharge is always with k0, not with k. Okay? So this you should take care. This is always multiplied by the coefficient, the static coefficient of earth pressure. Active earth uh, effective earth pressure is uh, effective uh, density of the uh, soil is gamma dash is equal to gamma saturated minus gamma W. 18 minus 9.81 is equal to 8. Point. Here we have taken the density to what is 9.81. You should uh, uh, keep this in mind that the gamma W is taken as 9.81, not 10. Combined uh, uh, coefficient of earth pressure and water pressure on the uh, wall of the face is Ka into gamma dash plus gamma dash. This we have already discussed that the coefficient of earth pressure when uh, tank is underground and completely submerged with water, then uh, this uh, pressure that is acting on the tank wall, this is tank wall, acting on the is this uh, gamma W plus k a and this is gamma w plus k a gamma dash the coefficient that you will utilize in multiplying with the 
coefficient that we will get from IST 370 part 4 and uh, from T version. So this is the coefficient that we require. This WS. This is similar to what WS is given here. When we open this code, you see this W, small W here. This W, this is same. We will use this coefficient here when we will use, we will obtain the moment from this code. We will multiply this coefficient by W and by this height, A. A is the height, A cube. Okay. So this, here for this, we are calculating this W. So we need to uh, uh, obtain this W. See, this is K gamma dash plus gamma W. Coefficient for work pressure due to the surcharge. Surcharge load is why we are uh, not uh, including this load here. Uh, surcharge load in uh, coefficient of work pressure. Just because the load due to surcharge is not hydrostatic in nature. Hmm? When we have a, a wall and if it is loaded by a surcharge, this is a wall, right? And we have this. Uh, uh, regulated soil, which is triangular condition. If some uh, surcharge is acting, Q naught, then it acts as a rectangular load, which is uniformly distributed. So we cannot obtain moments uh, for a uniformly distributed moment, uniformly distributed load, uh, by using the tables of hydrostatically loaded um, case. See this load is given for hydrostatically loaded. So to obtain the moments due to the triangular load distribution that is effective soil pressure and water pressure we are use this table to obtain loads due to uh, like moments uh, due to hydrostatically applied loads we use we use Timoshenko. See we have this Timoshenko, this table number 44. This we will utilize to obtain the such charge loads. Moments due to such actors. So now you understand this. Let's continue. Permissible concrete stress. Oh. <coughs> Indirect compression and permissible steel stress in reinforcement. All these values you will get from IS 3370 part 2. 2000. Let's open this code. We have, remember, we have M30 concrete, right? Nine. Equal to permissible stresses in concrete, permissible stresses in compression. The end, um, bending and direct compression. So we have sigma CBC value. This CBC value M30 is 10. Sigma for direct compression is 8. So here we have taken 10 and 8 newton per m square. Okay. So permissible steel stresses in reinforcement under direct tension, bending, and shear. It is. You see this table four. Tensile stresses in the members under direct tension, bending, and shear. This is 130. High strength deformed bars. We are using this 130 newton per mm square. Table 4. IS3370 part 2, 2009. So, this we have all taken. Now, what next? These are the design parameters that we will utilize in uh, obtaining reinforcement from the moments. So, these things are important. Just see. M is equal to 280 upon 3 sigma CBC. The standard formula 9.33. K is equal to M into sigma CBC upon M sigma CBC into sigma ST. 9.33 into 10, 9.33 into 10 plus 130 is equal to 0 0.42. J is equal to 1 minus K by 3. This K is depth of neutral axis. This J is the lever arm. And Q is the coefficient 0 0.5 sigma CBC. KJ is 1.8. Okay. Now, codal provision for the design of underground water tanks. <coughs> what are the codal provisions for different members of the tank? First, let's start with the analysis of walls. Walls of the reinforced concrete underground water tank are designed based on ISTP 7 part 2 2009 using working stress method. So, this is important. You must notice working stress method. 
boundary conditions first of all before starting the design we should know what are the boundary conditions for which we are going to design our tank for present case boundary conditions considered for the tank is shown in figure 1 the top edge of the tank is considered free while the other three edges on the face of the walls are considered as fixed top edge free and sides are fixed you see these three sides are fixed and top edge is free critical load case there are two situations this is we have already discussed that what are the critical cases when water table is up to the ground level and soil pressure is acting on the walls and face from outside while the tank is empty means in, inside there is nothing and outside we have soil pressure and water pressure acting together this condition when does it occur when tank is under construction and uh, there is one more uh, typical situation when it happens is when it is under maintenance you want to clean the tank so you will make it empty and then only you can clean it so that is also a condition when it is possible that tank is empty but soil is outside and uh, when uh, second condition is when oil is spilled inside the tank and there is no soil pressure on the outside of the wall and this happens when you are doing a leakage test if your tank is leaking into the soil then you will want to test it for that you will empty the tank you will uh, 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 remove the outside soil and you will find out what are the possible locations of leakage and you will repair them and uh, while filling the tank for these two cases make sure the loading is same on the wall except their signs and magnitude since if uh, water is acting from inside the signs are as given in the course if soil is acting from outside then you have to take the negative sign of those given in the course in case of summer soil pressure acting from outside the magnitude is higher and signs are opposite to those given are and which are given in tables of 3 to 7 0 part so this is what i have said because in addition to the water oil which is acting on the internal side of the wall there is a factor accounting for the earth pressure due to the effective unit weight of the soil thus the analysis is proceeded with the respect to the first case mix design okay so we will consider this case for these two cases nature of the loading is same on the walls except their signs and numbers we have already discussed loading into the earth and water pressure on the vertical face walls of the tank as is a hydrostatic loading loading into such a is uniform in nature or the loading on the flat surface of top slab and draft is uniform in nature based on boundary condition and type of the slab or wall loading so various tables are provided in ie city survey group part for the moment and shear coefficient critical location of moment and shear coefficients of underground water tank is obtained to calculate the steel requirements for present boundary condition where walls are free at the top and fixed at the side shear coefficients for hydrostatic and uniform loading are not given in is code this is what we should note this uh, this statement clarifies that why are we using timoshenko and not uh, using is 70 part 4 uh, for our design like part of uh, Uh, I said seven zero part four. We are using, but not completely. We are using it. We have to use Timoshenko because the shear coefficients are not given. Shear coefficients for hydrostatic and uniform loadings are not given in I S P C seven zero. Hence, these values are obtained from Timoshenko at all. For this boundary condition, it is not given. So, we stop and fix at the right. now what is saying the figure 2 is showing the locations of critical loads for moment in the work tank for mixture 1 critical location of moment in vertical and horizontal directions are given the magnitude of coefficients in the mixture 2 are high for vya seven muscle so this is all we have seen in this uh, in, uh, see location of critical moments in the wall so we have seen the table see we open this part 4 now we uh, see this 1.75 you see what is the maximum um, critical location points see this is point my is see my is horizontal moment where is this maximum my you see this is an extra one this is an extra one that we are talking about here you see this i have taken from is 70 part 4 table 3 this is the boundary uh, condition that we are considering in our case so you see what are the critical uh, points where we have to get the moments so if we have this horizontal moment as my right my is horizontal where is this my maximum 
just observe by visual inspection we have this value maximum here did you notice this is plus 0 0.025 it is maximum at y is equal to 0 and x by a is also 0 means x is equal to 0 where is x 0 x is 0 here and y is 0 here so we have this as a critical location right so where is the maximum minimum value of m by this is minus 0 point zero one five this is this is maximum where is the minimum both of these values see here we have sorry Is the value now? Let's see mx. Where is maximum mx value? See these values. This is the maximum value. Where is the maximum minimum value of mx? The minimum value is maximum negative. And what is the location of this? 1 by 2. x by a is 1 by 2 and y is 0. So, where is this location? Okay, let me mark this thing. This is located at b by 2 and x is equal to 0. So it is here. This is what? And y. And this location is x by 2. x is equal to a by 2. a by 2 means middle of this height. And y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0. Where is this uh, minimum? 0 0.074. This is minimum. Where is this located? x by a is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So y is 0 here and x by a is a here. <coughs> so this is the location.